Hey guys, so here I am just minding my own damn business of walking through Manchester in the middle of a storm on the complete opposite side to where I live where I have no business being. Oh, I just don't know how I managed to accidentally end up here. Flourish and what is their open day today? I never knew. Mm -hmm. Ciao. What a mess. You can already tell just how beautiful it's going to be from the outside. But you know, it is a storm so I think I need to do a responsible thing and go home. I don't know why I keep trying to kid myself. The shop is built across two floors. You enter in at ground level, and on the ground level, that's the home of all your planty accessories. I immediately wanted to pick up this beautiful ceramic face pot. I thought it would be perfect for my brand new string of disappointment. And then I realized it's probably just gonna end up down the bin chute, just like the last one. So I thought, ah, oh, forget it. Just like my visit to Nice Things and Glass House, these guys had a fantastic array of pots and they were actually really reasonably priced. Almost every available space is used for plants, makes you feel like you're transported into the jungle. Then on the other side of the ground floor, they have an array of different flowers and you can get the team to build you a bouquet. Man, they had so many different colours, I wouldn't even know where to start. I've got to say, I felt so safe. There was not a trolley or a basket in sight. Cause you know how I just get attacked by those things. I'm innocently walking around and then things just accidentally fall into those baskets and trolleys. Okay, you guys, I think I found the house plants. I was not prepared for this. This is a literal greenhouse. From floor to ceiling was absolutely covered with beautiful plants. I don't think I've ever seen stag ferns this big, but for 25 pounds, that is an absolute bargain. Thank goodness I've already got a Birds of Paradise at home because this was almost coming home with me. What I love about the store is the range. You've got your small starter plants all the way up to the big boys. 50 pounds for this cactus is awesome. On the bottom shelf, they had these ficus and dracenia for six pounds. So affordable. And then these Boston ferns for 10 pounds. And just look at how full the pots are. I showed you guys the big boy pots of staghorn ferns, but look at the smaller pot for seven pound 50 and it's still full. Now I know damn well, I ain't got no money. I don't have any space for any new plants. So you guys know, I'm just gonna leave here with nothing. Uh, goodbye. Let me just take a second to talk about all of these trailing plants. <sighs> Look at this trade scantia. <gasps> Green and white variegation. And then there was another one. Oof, just look at the colors here. Don't think I've ever seen trailing plants in a store so long. And guys, look at the leaves on this plant. It looks like a crocodile fern, but can you believe it's actually a calathea? Here's one of their big guns, a banana plant for 250 pounds. But guys, look at the size of it. Imagine a banana tree so big, and yet it's getting dwarfed by those Hoya. After that overpriced debacle, which was my visit to B and Q, 35 pounds for a massive pot of ivy is a bargain. Oof, you guys flourish are smart. They've got their tote bags hanging up all around the store. Cha, they almost got me. <laughs> At first glance, that pot of Devil's Ivy for £70 looks a bit OTT. However, look at the size of those leaves. I have never seen one this big. That is absolutely insane. It's bigger than my hand. They had some large form Monsteras for around about £40. Again, another great price. The Neon Pothos and the Satin Pothos were all around about £6. These and their six pound alocasia are literally like planty stocking fillers. For 15 pounds, these ficus teneki were an absolute steal as well. But the affordable plants carried on. These calathea were six pound. Just look at the color of this one. Oh, I just love this magic star as well. So pretty. And look guys, you don't have to spend 250 pounds on the banana plant. Look at this baby for 15 pounds. Oh. Silver Queens, my goodness, look at this, 30 pounds. And I think there's two in a pot as well with a moss pole. They also had these Calathea orb folios as well for 15 pounds. Again, that's a really great price. Look how big the leaves are. And then behind them, a little army of fiddle leaf figs for 45 pounds. 
Now I've got absolutely no idea where I would put these Hoya, but for a hundred pounds, I was ready to risk it all and take all three of them. <sighs> guys, look, I need to leave because look, this is just too much for me. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I haven't actually unpacked my plants. Uh, I thought I would give them a little bit of time to settle once we got in because it was so windy on the way back. So let me show you what I've got. So, the first plant, oh, guys, it's the Calathea. It looks so pretty, the leaves on it. Oh, don't ask me why I thought it was acceptable to get a Calathea again. <laughs> I'm like a glutton for punishment, but it doesn't look like a normal one. And I've never seen this before. I've never seen the coloration. I've never seen the shape of the leaves before. Um, but I think it's just stunning. Okay, then we have plant number two. Okay, let's see. Example. You guys, look at this trade scantier. Can I just say a massive thank you to Ian? He is just the most fabulous store assistant. And child, let me tell you, this tray scantier is tucked better than any of those contestants on RuPaul's Drag Race. I was just absolutely blown away with the color of this plant. And guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will help to send the video to more people and helps me out massively. Let me tell you, the struggle of unwrapping this plant was real. This is hands down my longest trailing plant. Guys, it's taking me round about five to ten minutes just to unravel her. Ian, thank you so much for wrapping her up as well as you did. I mean, but let's get a little bit closer so you can see some of the variations in the colour of the leaves. So I got her for £15. It looks quite bushy, right? No, she has got length. In fact, let me stand up. At this point, she still isn't fully unraveled, but just look. <laughs> She's beautiful. So imagine I got her and the Calathea, both were £15 each. Now that is a bargain. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye. I've no idea where this Ooh. is going to go. Ooh. If you know any stores in the UK that you think I should go and visit next year, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to go out and have a look. Oh. <laughs>